boys, we are creating YouTube FC in FIFA 22. Create a club. A team full of YouTubers in FIFA 22 where your rating is decided by how many subscribers you have. We will be managed by the CEO of YouTube, Susan Wajisik... Waji... Wajisik... Watch Siki. Watch Siki. We're going to go with Siki. And yes, creating our own club, calling it obviously YouTube FC. So this is kind of a part two. I did this back in FIFA 20. Now that we're in FIFA 22 and we have created a club, I felt like we should do it again. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel right now for loads of experiments like this. I kind of want Saturdays to be the day where we just create content on create a club and just create new and unique teams every single week. I have so many ideas. We've already done AFC Richmond. We're now doing YouTube FC. So comment who you guys want to do next in the most liked comment i will do next saturday i don't care what the team is i will create it next saturday but you guys have to hit 15,000 likes for me to do the top like comment and create that club here it is boys youtube fc okay right we gotta come up with the perfect nickname for youtube fc let's go with the uh let's go with the trojans if you know you know oh my my bad that was so cringe okay they're knowing my audience they'll be point Zero 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 one percent of people who actually know what that means. Oh, okay, cool. Who are we replacing? We gotta use Siri. Siri, give me a random number one to twenty. It's sixteen. Sixteen. Didn't we get sixteen last time we did this? Oh my god. Poor Southampton, bro. They get released or I guess yeah, released every single time. We gotta stick uh to the red and white color screen scheme for the kit design so we'll go for this yo mba 2k lets you import your own badges like i i feel like we should be able to do it on fifa i know people would import just like bad stuff but still bro you could do it on 2k why can't you do it on fifa or at least at the very least be able to edit the text within the crest like i want to put y not f on my badge why is it f okay as for the squad yeah it literally doesn't matter i'm gonna do three and a half we're gonna be signing a full club full of youtubers that i've custom created myself so this stuff yeah it literally doesn't matter this will be three seasons to glory to see how many trophies we can win for youtube fc and yes as i mentioned we will be signing youtubers that i have created based on their subscriber numbers that's what their overalls will be so we'll get into those signings in a minute but yeah let's let's describe how the ratings were determined i have gone for a random uh just a random group of youtubers 20 youtubers in total so if you have less than 1 million subscribers your rating will be anywhere from 70 to 80 overall if you have 1 to 10 million subscribers you'll be anywhere from 80 to 85 overall 11 million to 20 million subscribers you're going to be anywhere from 86 to 90 overall 21 million to 49 million will be 91 to 95 overall and finally if you have more than 50 million subscribers which is only a few you will be anywhere from 96 to 99 overall 20 players signed in total unlimited money so that we can afford all of them which shouldn't be an issue and these are just 20 youtubers that me and my chat have come up with if you guys want to see a part two let me know which youtubers that i should include for the next one i've already done i mean this this is technically already a part two if you want a part three check part one some of the players i've repeated from part one some of the players are new some of them are old like just watch part one and then if you want other youtubers leave them in the comments for the next one all right hopefully well definitely actually by the time we sign all of them you see all these players right here they will be gone okay we are going to start from the lowest amount of subscribers and work our way up to the very top at center back 75 overall because of his 500 000 subscribers the man who has taken over the fifa scene the legend himself Danny Aarons. I am not going to be showing the cutscenes for signing them. All of these guys should be free agents. So again, your rating is based off of your subscriber count. So 500,000 is going to 500,000 subs is going to equal a 75 overall. Also, I should know all of these YouTubers go drop them a sub because they're all well, most of them are pretty good YouTubers. Um, Danny Aarons. I mean, he's got some of the best content out there in terms of <laughs> right now. Next up is it's me. Right now, 77 overall because I have 70, 70, 700,000 subscribers. I've tried my best. Everyone's correct age should be right at the time of recording this video. Actually, no. Well, at the time of the calendar in this video, yes, I was 23. I'm actually now 24 years old now. So how did I get positions? I kind of just felt like I just kind of threw people at random positions. So I don't know. I felt like I was more of a cam myself. I will definitely not be starting on this team. 
probably coming off the bench, but I got some potential, you know? Hopefully we can sneak our way in. Okay, wait, this is the only one who has like, I mean, well, let's just explain this. Ben Foster. He's actually got himself a YouTube channel now. So he is the only one whose rating isn't determined by his subscribers. Wait, actually, no, it actually works out perfect. 78 overall, he has 800,000 subscribers. It works out perfect. Even if I were to change his rating to match his subscribers, it would literally be 78. So it's perfect. Ben Foster just started a YouTube channel. He actually just like reached out to me on YouTube to collab. So I, I don't know. I haven't been able to reach him lately. He's a footballer. He's busy. Um, he responded to one of my tweets is what he did. So I may collab with him in the future. It'd be cool. I want to do like an actual footballer besides my career mode team. So out of all the people in this video, this one right here would be the one most likely. He would be the highest rated on the team. If we weren't doing the ratings based on how many subscribers you had. In terms of skill, Jeremy Lynch is the best one out there, 100%. I mean, check out his channel, F2 Freestylers. Like, this dude is... um. He is legit, and he also has a great YouTube channel. Another one who would be one of the better ones on the team if it weren't determined by subscribers, Chris MD, 83 overall. Yeah, what, 5 million? Actually, he should be higher than that, right? He should... No, no, 83. No, 83 is actually perfect. Yeah, 83, because if you have 1 million to 10 million subscribers, you're 80 to 85 overall. No, that's actually right where he should be. Now, as I was saying, though, Chris MD is um, a great football. You guys have seen and stuff his stuff in the charity match. If it weren't based off subscribers, he should be one of the highest rated players on this team. I actually just found out who this was. Um, like, I don't even know, a few weeks ago when he was on Logan Paul's podcast. Don't watch him. He bangs views. He seems popular. So we've thrown him in. Tommy, in it? Oh, yeah. Also, before P oh, people have probably all, all already commented just so much on this. The heights are one of the only things that isn't accurate. Height and weight is not accurate. I haven't, like gone through the trouble of looking up YouTubers height and weight because first off I don't even think you can find it second off that's just that's kind of personal you know he was in the last one road to Shaw I mean Chris MD was in the last one I was in the last one um that we did the part one again a few players have been thrown in again a few players are new 88 overall is a pretty solid rate there's a lot of high rated players in this team I don't even think we'll have to get to the whole team but I'm pretty sure 88 overall isn't even good enough for him to start. Yo, Phase Rug, he was in the last one too. He just has super interesting videos, man. Also, just like living the dream, bro. All the houses that he's living in, what he's been able to like do for his parents. Like, I'm pretty sure, I don't think he still lives there now, but like he bought his parents just an insane mansion. And I mean, everything he does, like all of his challenges and stuff, all of his videos, um, good production, just an interesting guy in phase. Phase rugs a beast. I used to watch this guy all the time. I've been a little bit busy lately, so I haven't been able to watch his content all too much. Laser beam, definitely, in my opinion, the best YouTuber from Australia besides Jared HD. Jared, you're not in this video. You're in the last one, but best, best FIFA Australia. Oh, there's the Master Bucks too. Then you get into the question, who's better, Jared? Master Bucks. I don't want to talk about that right now. All right, Alie. Um, oh wait, he's actually lower rated. I forgot to include him earlier. Alie, you know what we got to do for Alie, right? Roll the freaking intro. Yep, we've put him in the midfield. 88 overall, Alie. Uh, I don't like Alie. I mean, I've never really watched Alie. He posts Fortnite videos. I don't really play Fortnite. I don't really watch Fortnite. I used to, not anymore. But yes. Allier has somehow snuck his way into the squad. I've actually gone on and done this. The Paul brothers. I've put both. I don't. I can't remember. I don't know if I put the Pauls in last time or not. Jake Paul. Oh, he's so annoying, man. He, good name. Good first name, you know? Nah, can't stand this guy. I don't know if anyone can stand this guy. I mean, I'm sure some of you guys like him. Fair play if you like his content. He's not for me. Man's just got a big mouth, man. He knows how to get people not to like him. So, I mean, I, I guess he's doing something right. Oh, one night. Got your hat. No, this man's kind of fallen off, bro. We got Ninja. I guess maybe it's more like Fortnite has kind of fallen off a little bit. It just isn't as big as it used to be in terms of like being mainstream. But Ninja technically is one of the biggest gaming YouTubers still in terms of subscribers. He is a 91 overall because he's got himself whatever 20 million subscribers. GG's Ninja, you are in the team. Left wing. I don't know why I put him there. He, he guys just looks like he could be a left winger. <laughs> All right, you saw Jake Paul. We got ourselves Logan Paul next at center back, and you're never going to guess who we're going to pair him up with at the, the the next center back's position. Actually, though, fair play to Logan Paul. Didn't really used to like him, but I've actually been enjoying his podcast as of late. Um, And uh, 
I mean, that's kind of all I enjoy his podcast. I think he just brings interesting viewers on, but um, you know, fair play. Uh, he's he's not an, as annoying as he used to be. So yep, it has to be done. KSI and Logan Paul are gonna be the two starting center backs on this team. Yep, that one is gonna be interesting for sure. KSI, bro. KSI and Logan Paul. Once enemies now. I mean, I don't even I don't know if they're friends, but you know, they were on uh, each other's podcast, so um I don't know. I, I wouldn't say they're friends, but they're they're kind of just acquaintances now. You know, they're just they're just YouTubers, right? <sighs> my chat convinced me to do this one, so I, it wasn't me. I swear, it was my chat. All right, so yo, chat, a little sus over there. It's a little sussy, right? Sussy baka. All right, four YouTubers left. These are the four highest rated players on YouTube FC that we will be signing. Okay, dream. Right wing, 92 overall. Um, still, I don't think he's done a face reveal. Has he? I think his face got leaked somehow. Not gonna lie, bro. He has insane content, honestly. Like, really banging video. I mean, it's just the manhunt videos, right? They're just so good. Whether they're fake or not, they're just entertaining. It's just entertainment value. I absolutely love watching them. So, and he has a mad amount of subscribers. So, here we go. This is actually the top four. Did I say, no, top five. Not top four. Top five. S, S, S. Sniper Wolf. The only girl in this. I tried to. I wanted to include more girls, but there aren't as many that are like uh, super familiar that have like a ton of subscribers. Actually, she is a right back. I might end up changing that. Yeah, I might actually end up changing that position because we need ourselves. I don't know what you know. We'll we'll see when we sign them all what we need to switch around in terms of positions. You know, we had to be in here, Mr. Beast. Okay. And I probably should have explained this one too. I'm just counting YouTubers' main channels, okay? No second channels count towards this. So Mr. Beast would be a 99 if we counted all of his channels, but we're just counting the main channel. So he stays, unfortunately, at a 97 overall. Boys, we got two left. Who are they gonna be? Who are the two biggest YouTubers in this video going to be? Of course, we gotta go for PewDiePie, and we've thrown him in net. Yes, that's right. We're gonna have ourselves a 99 rated goalkeeper. You'll love to see it. Okay, so PewDiePie is not number one. He is number two on this team. So that means two 99 rated players. Used to watch him, not so much anymore, but it's PewDiePie, bro. He's the legend, he's the go. Can we get a drum roll? The number one YouTuber on this team it's not t-series here it is yep it's cocomelon 99 overall pam it's not a real person it's literally just it just it's just like a show right like a kid show right i've actually never seen it i've just seen the intro cocomelon but they got mad subscribers so they're gonna be the captain they're gonna be the number one player on this team they're cam they're 21 years old they're not a real person but we've turned them in to a real person. Yep, I, I don't know what I've done, but uh, <laughs> oh God. All right, so I gotta go sign all of these. They were all free agents, but now I gotta go get them into my team. Okay, um, I'll be right back. All right, so these players better have accepted their contract. Mr. Beast has. Oh yeah, they're all coming back. No one's declined so far, right? LES. Okay, boys, listen. To create these players, right? I have had, I've kind of just gone through and given them similar hairstyles, made sure like their skin color is correct. It's such an L though. Look, let's just go through and have a look at every one of the players. There's Danny Aarons. There's me. How have I done with myself? I feel like I've done pretty awful. <laughs> this is, this is Cocomelon. I don't know what, I don't know what Cocomelon looks like. So I just used one of the generic created players. Alie again, can we, can we just roll that intro one more time, please? I promise this is the last time. All right, Sniper Wolf might be the worst one. I, I couldn't create a female player. So oh, that's the closest God. we got. Right, Jeremy Lynch, kind kind of close, right? All right, Chris MD, Tommy, isn't it? Road to Shaw. Road to Shaw's actually, no. Road to Shaw's looks good. All right, phase rug. Laser, laser, laser beam. Oh, laser beams looks all right too. Jake Paul, nah, not good. Ninja. We got, we got the blue hair at least. Okay, Logan Paul is awful. Oh God, James Charles. I don't even want to look at that. Okay, Dream. No idea actually what he looks like. Uh, Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast is pretty good, right? We got our boy Pewds. We got KSI. And that is it. All right, let's go through. Has, that, has everyone accepted? Oh, I need 
Ben Foster's the only, like, legit chancer. The rest of them were free agents. Yep. Okay, we just got to go through and spam now because everyone's accepted. We just got to accept them ourselves. Nah, bro. You, you've been caught in 4K, Riley. You have just been caught in 4K, bro. I'm exposing you right now to the world, man. And the last one, Ben Foster. Yo, I still want to collab with this guy. He, he, he responded, but then he didn't respond. Guys, go spam his YouTube. Tell him to collab with me. Say B Ford wants to make a video. Like, let's go. All right, so I had the player faces for the beginning of the video, but um, unfortunately, you can't. I can't. I at least don't know how to mod them into the game correctly. All right, so my plan was to just use the 43 attack, my favorite formation in the game. All right, let's throw the best possible players in the starting 11, and then, yeah, we may switch some positions around. Okay, so here's the starting 11. These are the highest rated players. I We need to, we need to switch them. Um, switch some positions right here so i'm going to change one of the center backs i'm going to make jake paul essential midfielder no that's it we just we need another backup well i might switch like phase rug or jeremy i might switch let's let's switch jeremy lynch to the left wing here we go boys we're giving this team a Officially giving this team three seasons to win as many trophies as possible. YouTube FC. Yet again, boys, your top players in order. Also, to note, I will not be messing with development plans. They're just all going to stay on balanced. Again, comment section. If you want a part, a part three, I guess, to this video, uh, let me know the players. I swear, bro. If anyone in the comments is like, B Ford, why didn't you include this player? B Ford, why didn't you include him? Why didn't you B Ford B? I swear. I swear I'm going to break a monitor. I... I will actually do it. All right, is it? Is there any? Is there anything else that I need to do? Oh, I need to make sure that they're all like signed along contracts. So yeah. Other than that, let's um, let's get into this. Yo, is that an LIC to Leicester? Bro, not this again. I don't know what it is about FIFA 22 that you just like can have an insane team and not win anything. I'll just take in a pit stop to see if we have a Ballon d'Or winner. Yo, it's Lewa. Come on, man. You're telling me Lewa beat out Coca Melon? I don't think so, bro. Coca Melon's 99. What's Lewa? 91 bro nah nah that's not that's not how it just happened all right so i'll put uh, after the james charles thing man that you from the chat i had to put them in timeout today man i we can't deal with that we just can't in this video a team with 99 pewdiepie 99 coca melon i don't expect to lose any trophies starting with the Premier league it is a w barely though from the few experiments i've done this year you don't really see any teams anymore no matter how dominant they may be, winning the Premier League with like over 100 points. At least, it's it's at least very rare from what I've seen. Okay, FA Cup. So far, we're winning everything. We continue to win everything. Have we just racked up four trophies in the first season? Is career mode actually gotten realistic? We're in the final. And we are. Oh my God. Yo, career mode is, I guess, to win the trouble. You literally have to have multiple 99 rated players on your team. If you guys missed it. A few days ago, the messy rewind that we did, bro, we had insane teams where everyone in the starting level was over 90 rated, and we still couldn't win the Champions League. And even though I didn't put development plans on, players are going to grow. PewDiePie and Coca Melon sell at 99. Mr. Beast is close to a 99. That's just how it works. Even though you don't put development plans on, players will still. Oh my God. Yep. Coca Melon is the best FIFA 22 player you've seen so far. There's no one better. I've, I have, you know what? I don't think I've seen a better stat line than that. 47 goals and 12 assists. That might be the most goals in a single season that I've seen from any player ever. GG's Coca Melon. Wait, hold up. How many goals did I score? Did I even, did I get a single goal? I played three games and got zero goals, bro. I only grew one overall too. Yo, Spurs fans. Um, how does it feel that Coca Melon literally has more trophies than you guys like as of late? Oh man, that's a tough one to swallow, isn't it? Let's freaking run it back this year, man. Here we go. Four trope. We got to go for 12. We literally have to go for 12. I'm tempted to bring the forfeit wheel into this video. Like if we don't get 12 trophies, then I have to give it a spin. But I want to save this wheel for the all-star challenges only. All right. So in between seasons, there really isn't much to do. Oh, yo. Um. Okay. So you know who's going to win the World Cup for sure then? England. Because pretty much, well, no, the US might win it. There's a lot of US players in this team. Let's go. I'm going to sim to the 25th and watch as Coca Melon leads the US to the World Cup final. Almost am guaranteeing right here it's going to be the US versus England in the final. It has to be, right? The winner. Oh my God. The Netherlands. No, we've lost to Brazil, man. Who did England lose to? Um, hello? England, England, England. Wow. They got grouped. <laughs> Dude, the U.S., bro, even with 99 rated players, they're terrible. Yeah, man, look at this. They had they had uh, pretty much everyone. 99 rated. I mean, 
some of the normal players. But still, they lost. Oh, my God. This is Cocomelon's year for the Ballon d'Or, man. If I see Lewa's face there, I'm... Oh, I've just become the number one Coca Melons. Coco Coco Melon supporter. It's Coca Melon. It's gotta be, right? No, it's Mr. Beast. Okay, fair play. The legend himself, Mr. Beast for Ballon d'Or. Let's go. That is Mr. Beast, right? Yes, it is. Come on. And somehow, Pulisic. Wow, Pulisic must be just the GOAT. Beat everyone on our team for uh, player of the month. All right, I'm gonna give the chat one more chance to come back. But if I see one more James Charles reference, I'm out. All right, you guys kidding me, man? I gave you one chance. Are you serious, man? Wait, are they trolling me or what, bro? No, 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 no. You guys are out again. No, you guys are done. You guys are done. You're banned yet again. All right, boys. Yo, let's go. Okay, it's time. Let's just see if we can stay undefeated in trophies. Oh my God, we can't. This game, I swear, bro, this game is rigged. I'm not gonna lie. FIFA 22 kind of sucks, man. It really does. Like, okay, nah. Nah, we go from winning every trophy to zero. Nah, nah. Okay, we won the Champions League. There's actually something wrong with this game. When a full team of 90 rated players, 99 rated goalkeeper as well, 99 rated cam, 98 rated striker, can't win the prep. Okay, at least we won the Champions League. I'm actually like very mad because I'm going to be taking just loads of L's this year. If this is how it works. And if it's so unrealistic like this, Mr. Beast, no wonder he won the Ballon d'Or. Cocomelon had last season was so much better, but um, Mr. Beast carried some of the load this year. All right, this is the last season, man. We're up to five trophies. Double digits is impossible right now. I need someone from EA to explain this, though. Like, come on, man. We've created the dream team here. A 99 rated keeper. Look at the bench, bro. I'm up to an 80 overall. There, there we go. I mean, this is this is it. This is the final season. At least, you know what? I'll give it to it. At least we've won the Champions League every time. A few moments later. What? How have I been terminated? Wait, what? Nah. I've been terminated from my own club. And they're all 90 rated. And I had mods on so that I shouldn't have... What? <gasps> what? Bro, this is BS, man. I had a 99 manager rating. Yo. What the heck, man? <laughs> EA, why, bro? Why is this broken? Career mode sucks this year, man. Uh, what is wrong? Actually, though, why did we get sacked? I'm top of the league, right? Are we still in the FA Cup? But the FA Cup hasn't even started yet. Uh, Champions League. Okay. I have a nine. I have a nine. I have a 99 man. Did it, did it give me a reason for why I got sacked, chat? Wow. Okay. Um, Ballon d'Or. I mean, we had the Ballon d'Or winner on our team. It's Mr. Beast yet again, yo. Freaky Mr. Beast. Back-to-back -back Ballon d'Ors. I don't know if there is a reason for me getting sacked. That's just flat out weird. All right. Luckily, I have the mods where I can just, like, manage again. Yeah. Dude, uh, like, so... Uh, Imagine, bro, winning five trophies for your team in two years and they sack you. All right, I'm back on YouTube, FC. Ugh. Is everything the same? Yep. I mean, the team's incredible. If this happens again, man, I am, uh, I don't know, dude. This, this, this year's FIFA is just weird. I gotta say this before the season ends, man. I know I've hyped up like FIFA 22 for the past few weeks uh, after playing it for about... I've had the game for about a month. The game suck. The game actually sucks. I'm not gonna lie, chat. All right, let's just go. That's why you guys are gonna see me like branching out to other games and different types of videos and stuff. Um, let's go. We win the prem. I'm gonna always be playing YouTube, but I just wanted to keep it real with you guys. I really want to take this channel to the next level. Always will be football based and whatnot, but um, yeah, we we gotta we gotta figure out what we're gonna do with this channel over the next year. I don't know how long I can do experiments like this if we're just gonna get sacked and lose trophies with the best teams in FIFA. All right, I mean, again, W is it a W for the Caribbean Cup? It's not a W for the Caribbean Cup. It's an L in the Champions League. Un we lost to Latium. Three 99 rated players can't win the Champions League. A full 90 rated starting 11. Boys, GGs. That's all I gotta say. In my opinion, get the game if you want to, but uh, honestly, I'm gonna be posting posted content that's going to be better than actually playing the game so watch videos like the ones that are right here also you guys know the drill click this button to subscribe listen i like fifa 22 but i don't know how much longer i can keep dealing with this